Number 10, the Giant Serpent. One of the biggest snakes ever found was discovered during a raging forest fire in Indonesia in 2019. The fire was absolutely horrendous, burning up an estimated 800,000 acres of land. The blame landed on farmers, who were burning the land to make room for new crops when it got out of control. It was a conservation group called Can Borneo who went into the devastated wilderness and posted a videos of locals dragging burnt snakes out of the forest. Among the snakes was one so big it was hard to believe. The crispy snake was 32 feet long and almost 8 inches in diameter. That is positively enormous for a snake. It was a tragic disaster, but nobody had known that there were such big snakes living in the jungle here. Conservationists believe it was a type of python, likely a local Burmese python. In most cases, these snakes grow to a maximum of 23 feet long. The average female python is only about 11 feet long. These rare beasts were big enough to swallow goats whole. In the case of the 32-footer, it could have easily swallowed an entire cow. Number 9. The Chernobyl Hare Ukrainian soldiers have been helping animals in their war-torn nation ever since Russia's invasion in February 2022. Social media has been flooded with stories of Ukrainian military personnel adopting animals and rescuing innocent creatures from the war zone. But something very bizarre recently appeared online. It's a photograph of a soldier in a nondescript field holding a monstrous hare. The picture was taken while the soldier was removing mines in person. The photograph captured a lot of attention because the hare looks a lot more like a kangaroo than your typical fuzzy bunny. Why is the hare so giant? Some speculated it was a Chernobyl hare, mutated from the nuclear fallout that blanketed the region around Chernobyl after the nuclear disaster in 1986. However, Chernobyl is about 515 miles from where the hare was found, making it an unlikely story. The truth is that the hare is most likely a Flemish giant rabbit. These creatures are positively humongous. They average about 15 pounds but can grow to be significantly larger. The biggest male Flemish giant rabbits can grow to an excess of 22 pounds. And seeing as they grow up to two and a half feet long, that makes these rabbits about the same size as medium dogs. You might be wondering how a huge rabbit like this could have survived for so long in the wild without being eaten to extinction. The thing is that they are an old breed of domesticated rabbit, like a domesticated dog. Historical records show the breed already existed in Belgium in the 16th century. It's likely that people People in the medieval days raised them on purpose for meat and fur. The bigger the rabbit, the more meat, and the bigger the hat. These days, they are companion animals and make excellent pets. Number 8. The Giant Squid Yosuke Tanaka and his wife Miki were scuba diving off the western coast of Japan recently when they encountered the last thing anyone wants to encounter in the ocean. They came across a giant squid, an underwater behemoth with nine slimy tentacles. They found the animal swimming almost at the surface of the water and were lucky enough to capture footage of it. The squid's body was orange and white with hugely thick arms. It also had two wide eyeballs the size of a human fist. According to Tsunemi Kubodera from the National Museum of Nature and Science in Tokyo, the squid was so small that it was most likely only about a year old. By the time it reaches adulthood, it will be over four times larger. It was a species known as the colossal squid. While not the same as the real giant squid, it's still a remarkable creature. And besides, nobody even knows how big they get. John Ablett from London's Natural History Museum said nobody has ever found a fully mature colossal squid. It's impossible to say how big they can get. It's at least 38 feet long, perhaps even longer. And now for number 7. But first, it's shout out time! I want to give a big thank you to Twisted Willow Tattoo and Lyle Francis Delp for supporting this channel. Thank you so much! Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos about amazing discoveries. Number 7. The Fernandina Giant Tortoise In the Galapagos Islands, scientists found a single female Fernandina Island tortoise. This is a very important discovery because everyone assumed these tortoises had been extinct for the last century. This is the first time anyone has seen a Fernandina Island tortoise in over 100 years. She was discovered on the westernmost island of the archipelago in 2019. The last one seen was a single male discovered in 19. 
1906. Scientists were not completely sure at first if they were dealing with a real extinct tortoise. They thought maybe it was a different species of giant tortoise that floated over from a nearby island. Stephen Gogren from Princeton University had to compare her DNA to a sample from the male specimen found in 1906. She was a direct match. Researchers have no idea how many of these tortoises might still live in the Galapagos Islands. Stephen said there likely aren't too many of them. Still, he and his team are desperately hoping at least enough are still alive that they can support the species before it goes extinct forever. The tortoise they found is about 50 years old, and she could still live another 150 years. Scientists think she still has time to find a boyfriend if she hasn't found one already. The Fernandina Island tortoise is a subspecies of Galapagos tortoise. They are the biggest living species of tortoise in the world. The biggest of them all can weigh just shy of 1,000 pounds. Number 6. The Alula Whale Willem F. J. Morzer Brines is a Dutch historian specializing in sea navigation. He retired in 2005, but many years before that, he was the first man to report a sighting of what he dubbed the Alula Whale. In fact, Willem observed several unidentified whale species throughout his voyages. He seemed to see whales nobody else ever witnessed. The Alula whale was particularly fascinating because it was said to be enormous. It was a huge ocean mammal that looked sort of like an orca, but its body was covered in white star patches. It looked like the whale was covered in pale star-shaped scar tissue. The creature supposedly traveled in pods of between four and eight individuals, with a prominent dorsal fin typically seen above the water. Willem was not the only person who witnessed the Alula whale. In 1987, a ship officer on the Marine Observer reported a sighting of one. He said the whale was a darkish brown with a prominent dorsal fin. Just as the ship got within about 100 feet of the creature, it dove deep into the water and wasn't seen again. But people are skeptical as to whether this gigantic whale truly exists. Willem was notorious for reporting sightings of weird animals. He supposedly saw something called the Greek dolphin, the Senegal dolphin, and the Iligan dolphin, none of which have ever been scientifically confirmed. Do you think there are tons of new dolphins and whales that we haven't seen before out there? Let me know in the comments! Number 5. Momo the Monster Momo the monster is supposedly a great big ape, similar to Bigfoot. It's also known as the Missouri Monster, discovered by the townsfolk in rural Louisiana, Missouri in the early 1970s. Not the state, but an actual town called Louisiana. But unlike Bigfoot or the Mothman, Momo never became a national icon. One of the best sightings came on July 11, 1972. A pair of boys were playing in their backyard when their sister heard them screaming in the kitchen. As she looked out the window, she was shocked to see a monstrously large animal holding a dead dog in its huge hands. She described the monster as having a head roughly the shape of a pumpkin. It also had bright orange eyes that glowed in the gloom. Throughout that year, there were many sightings of Momo. This was a big deal in Missouri. Local fire department chief Richard Allen Murray even said he saw the monster while driving along a creek bed. It appeared in his headlights, standing on two legs and looming seven feet tall. The fire chief was so distraught by what he saw that he rallied a posse of ten men to hunt the creature, but they never found it. There were very few sightings after 1972. Nobody knows what became of Momo the monster. Was it a real animal, the last of its kind? Or or was it some crazy guy in a gorilla suit? What do you think? Is Momo the monster real? Number 4. The Stronsi Globster An impossibly huge and bizarre creature washed up on the shore of Scotland in the 19th century. It was a globster, the name given to an unidentifiable organic mass found stranded on the shoreline. A globster is different from a normal beached carcass because nobody can recognize what it is. It isn't a real scientific term, but people use it to describe things perceived to be monsters that are often nothing but rotting whale bodies. It was on the island of Stronsi that one of the biggest globsters ever seen washed ashore in 1808. Local fisherman John Peace was near the southeast part of the island in a small boat when he saw a flock of seabirds making a massive commotion. He rowed through the thick fog until he reached the shore, where he saw an enormous carcass on the rock. In his report, he described the creature as having a long neck and a body like a snake. It also had three pairs of legs. A few days later, the carcass showed up again. This time, it washed up on the beach. Local fisherman George Shearer measured it at a whopping 55 feet long. 
The Natural History Society of Edinburgh even tried to identify the creature, but failed. They announced to international media that they had discovered a new species of sea monster. This was big news long before the Loch Ness Monster was an international sensation. Even respected scientists were taking a big interest. Scottish anatomist John Barclay named it Halcydris Pontopidani. The locals weren't even that surprised. For hundreds of years, they had been telling stories of demonic sea monsters prowling their shores. Having one wash up on the beach was a wealth confirmation that such malevolent beings existed. All these years later, the Stronsi beast is still a thing of myth. Nobody has ever seen another one. Without any physical samples, scientists have no way to know what was discovered on that Scottish beach over 200 years ago. Number 3. The Pacific Mastodon on Rio Del Mar State Beach near Santa Cruz, California, Jennifer Sku stumbled upon what she first thought was a piece of driftwood. But there was something about this piece of driftwood that she couldn't quite understand. It didn't really look like wood. When she bent over to pick it up, she realized she had something remarkable in her hands. Still not knowing exactly what it was, she posted a photo on Facebook hoping someone could identify it. Paleontologist Wayne Thompson from the Santa Cruz Museum of Natural History recognized it as a tooth. Jennifer had happened upon a colossal tooth from a Pacific mastodon. The mastodon has been dead for a long time, at least 5,000 years. But before its extinction, it was one of the biggest creatures to walk the planet. It diverged from its cousins, the elephants, around 25 million years ago. It grew tusks that could exceed 16 feet in length, curving upward like a pair of scimitars. They probably weren't particularly hairy like the more famous woolly mammoth, but they were real giants. The largest males could grow to roughly 10.7 feet at the shoulder while weighing 11 tons. That made them about 80% heftier than any modern elephant alive. Finding one of their teeth, the size of a chunk of driftwood, is truly spectacular. Number 2. Toadzilla In Australia, rangers in Queensland's Conway National Park found a gigantic cane toad. They dubbed the creature Toadzilla, thinking it might be the biggest of its species ever discovered. Ranger Kylie Gray was walking through the park when a snake slithered across the path in front of her. She waited for the snake to pass, then noticed the sizable cane toad just sitting there. In rare cases, these huge amphibians grow to be just over 5 pounds. They are big and invasive, considered a threat to native wildlife in Australia. They were introduced artificially in 1935 to control the cane beetle, then they never left. The cane toad is about twice as heavy as an average chihuahua. It also weighs more than your typical chicken. The toads are covered in warts and can be poisonous. The Guinness World Record for the biggest toad in history is a cane toad found in 1991 that was 5.8 pounds. Toadzilla is an astounding 6 pounds, making it the unofficial record holder. As for how dangerous cane toads are, you certainly wouldn't want to be smaller than one. A cane toad will eat anything that can fit in its mouth. That includes reptiles and small mammals. This thing could eat your dog. Number 1. The Giant Ground Sloth When you think about a sloth, you most likely picture a three-toed sloth. A small and pretty cuddly creature with big claws and a dopey smile on its face. But the truly impressive sloths went extinct thousands of years ago. Researchers from the University of Iowa excavated bones of three extinct giant ground sloths in 2001. The Ice Age mammals stood 10 feet tall and weighed 3,000 pounds. The volunteer diggers expected to excavate a single skeleton. However, University of Iowa professor Holmes Semkin said the team uncovered an entire family unit. That included an adult, a young adult, and an infant. It was a full social unit, likely a mother and two generations of offspring. Mainstream scientists say the giant ground sloth went extinct 10,000 years ago, along with the Pacific mastodon and the dire wolves, but they could have been around a lot longer than that. When when Europeans arrived in the Americas, natives told stories of furry beasts who lived in the wilds. This was treated as a fairy tale, yet the natives were describing giant ground sloths almost perfectly. The huge sloths might not have gone extinct until a few centuries ago. The largest of all these creatures was the Megatherium americanum. By tracking fossils across the Americas, scientists have a good idea of how these creatures dominated the continents. They evolved in South America and then worked their way through the jungles 
into the forests of North America. The biggest were about the size of an elephant, 20 feet from their snout to the end of their tail, with a weight of around 4 tons. The Megatherium americanum also had deadly claws at 7 inches long. Thanks for watching! What's your favorite giant animal? Let me know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and come back soon! Bye!